All right, we're jumping back to OMAD. Today is gonna be a one plate a day day. I'm just done with my own bullshit. You know when you come to the point where you're just sick and tired of your own BS? Yes, well, I'm sick and tired of my own BS. Like, yes, I was told to give myself grace. I am going through a lot. My cortisol levels are high because we've been dealing with a chaotic situation in our building and just everything that's going on. Yes, when your cortisol levels are high, it's really hard to lose weight. So right now I've been stuck. I made this transformation this year. I've body recon. I built a lot of muscle. I spent the last four months building muscle and May is around the corner. May is my birthday month and I'm about done. I'm ready to sacrifice some muscle in order for me to get down to where I was. And I'm gonna look absolutely different because of the muscle I put on. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Neil Joy. This is my transformation with one meal a day. I wanna get back to that version of myself. I was very happy with my body at that place. And I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds, and I've lost a total of 113 pounds on my weight loss journey. My body, let me tell you, it's really hard for me to lose weight. My body likes to do something like this, stay stuck. Once my body has a set point weight, it will not let go for the love of God. It's like for years I was stuck at 220 pounds. And right now I'm stuck between a range that is about 20 pounds heavier than where I was with my OMAD transformation. And I'm sick and tired of it. And I want these 20 pounds off and I wanna get back to where I was. I'm just done. I'm just absolutely done with it. So I'm just gonna go back to OMAD, okay? There is still metabolic damage with my body. I damaged my body severely when I ballooned up to 282 pounds. I've checked my body several times. The last time I checked my liver for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is a sign of insulin sensitivity, or no, insulin resistance was when I was 220 pounds and I still had it. Clearly, I still have insulin resistance. It runs in my family. My mom was told she had insulin resistance because of her thyroid and whatnot. So these fasting protocols and these diets work well for me. As soon as I introduce refined carbohydrates, my body just gets stuck. Now, there is a role for it in my journey, but it's not it when it comes to weight loss. If you wanna lose weight, this is how you do it, especially if you have resistant weight loss. And I know this, you need to eliminate all refined carbohydrates. You need to eat nature's carbs. You, if you're still struggling eating nature's carbs, then what you need to do is go keto. So right now I'm gonna do a mini OMAD shred. We are gonna do one meal a day slash one plate a day until my birthday. So that's what, three weeks from now? I don't know, but this is today's date. I'm gonna document my first couple days eating one plate a day. So right now, we've got some electrolytes. It's 8 a.m. in the morning, and I already know what I'm gonna eat tonight because this is the meal I love, except I'm gonna substitute it. I've been eating a lot of sweet potato, rice, and arugula, and bison. I'm into that meal right now. But instead of having rice, I'm gonna eliminate the rice and I'm gonna get some quinoa because quinoa has more protein. So I'm gonna have quinoa, sweet potato, tons of arugula, maybe some other greens, and my bison. We're gonna have one plate a day. We might be overflowing with the vegetables, but I'm okay with that. So one plate a day, that is my plate a day, and I will show you when I break my fast. Totally forgot to mention, one plate a day and a drink. You know what that drink's gonna be? It's gonna be a damn protein shake probably with one and a half scoops of protein because I need to get in my protein. We're just gonna do this right now because my body just won't let go. It's so frustrating. Like I don't wanna be putting all this work in the gym and all this work in the kitchen and my body just won't let go. Like I know my body, I'm trying to listen to other people, you know, have some carbs, blah, 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 which I believe in. But when it comes to my body letting go of weight, I need, to do this differently. So we're gonna start off with fasting and we'll, we'll see about the keto omads. We'll see about them. But yes, I think I'm ready to just put my body through probably a month of hermetic stress. <laughs> All right, if you were doing one plate a day, this is how your plate would look like, something of this nature. You'd have your protein, that is organic ground bison. You'd have your leafy greens. This is arugula. 
you'd have your carbohydrates with protein and your carbohydrates if you weren't doing keto all night. So this is going to be part of my one meal a day meal. Um, macros and calories are on the side here. And I will be breaking my fast at 20 hours and 36 minutes. Let's take a screenshot. Here we go. Done. Save the photos. Ending fast. All right, and I'm gonna end my fast with some quinoa and sweet potatoes. And I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna do. I'm not doing one plate a day. I'm gonna eat a bit more because I've got muscle. All right, we've got one serving of extra creamy, so extra fatty Greek yogurt, and one serving of this organic oat blend. However, this is the one that has the sunflower oil in it. I'm not happy about that. Right now, I'm eliminating gluten and to see what's going on with my tummy. Next will be dairy. So we'll see what's up. I'm also having it with a protein shake. With one and a half scoops of whey protein, or two scoops of whey protein and one scoop of creatine. She's back, baby. She's back. I am currently, this is a new day, but um, I'm way past my OMAD fast. So yesterday I had a, look, I'm 21 hours into my fast and I'm not even hungry. And I did work out pretty hard at the gym today. But yesterday I ate within a 43 minute eating window. And I will tell you my macros and calories for the day. I'm using a new app. This is an app that my personal trainer suggested, and it's a really good app. It's a paid app, but it's worth the money. It's macro factor. So I had a total of 132 grams of protein, 51 grams of fat, and 156 grams of carbs. Total calories is 1564. I'm okay with that. Uh, protein is fine. You don't need to eat copious amounts of protein to maintain muscle and, you know, and build muscle and all that. So I am a-okay. Pretty happy with those numbers. Pretty happy with everything. So that was a good day. I am back to one meal a day. And it feels good to be back at one meal a day. I already noticed a difference in my body at the gym. My cellulite in my legs are disappearing. So for those of you who ask if one meal a day helps with cellulite, it helps me. That's all I can say. We're all genetically different, but it definitely helps me. And my skin's glowing. I'm looking like my old self. So I'm going to do this until I get down to where I need to get down to. And I am just want to feel good about myself because it's just been really hard and I'm just not liking what I'm seeing in the mirror. I'm currently wearing, and it's just my gut. It's just, that's the only thing that's a problem. So I'm currently wearing a castor oil patch, if you can see that there. Um, yeah, I am having a lot of issues with my uterus. I don't know what the hell's going on with it. I know I have a bunch of fibroids in there. I woke up, like, I couldn't sleep well last night and I woke up with a bunch of period pain and I'm like, my period isn't, until two weeks so i want to try to get rid of these fibroids naturally i don't want to go on birth control i just want to give my uterus to be as natural as possible because potentially in the future if i meet the right person we'll see i'm not i'm not holding my breath on it i'd like to have kids before my time runs out anyway if you made it this far into the video just type in the word omad because we are back on omad and i'm sending you guys my love take care bye